Likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lusts one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly. <coughs> That's your sodomite queer. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, deceit, debate, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. You're a reprobate, baby murdering, pervert. Probably most of you are sodomites or wannabe. <laughs> and except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. One day judgment's coming and you'll stand before all them babies you helped murder. And you'll give an account to God. God have mercy on your soul. Like we said, Y'all probably against the death penalty, but you'll murder a baby. Don't swing it all around because it blurs it up when people try to watch. No, I'm swinging it slow. Just now? No, I was trying to fix my side. Also, we should have grabbed the bullhorn from the church. We should have grabbed the bullhorn from the church. Voice. And let them laugh. Psalm chapter 2, why did the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder, cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. God's going to get the last laugh. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill, Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. There's going to be a day when God gets the last laugh. I hope you enjoyed the heat this summer because it's hotter in hell.
That's right. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. As I was driving in this morning, I saw the sun coming up over Sodom here. Sodomites. picture of all the baby killers. Here's another one. I wonder how he sleeps at night knowing he helped kill babies. I'm a baby killer. Not me, that little fat crush me. So, Lord Jesus, come quickly. thing that comes out of this is at least you're sending those babies to heaven to stand in judgment of you when you drop into hell. You imagine what it feels like ripping a limb off a baby?
I bet it's a good thing your mama didn't believe in abortion. The Bible says in Mark chapter 10, verse 42, And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, it's better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and he was cast into the sea. The Lord brings back all the babies you helped kill in your mind tonight while you're laying in bed. So you can see their limbs being ripped from their body and realize that you had a part in it. Love of money is the root to all evil. Don't kill your baby. Plan murder. Don't take an innocent life because of your sin. Don't murder a baby. The fruit of your womb. As they rip the arms and legs off of the fruit of your womb. Baby killers, murderers. Devils in Satan's service. Preach it, Megan. Baby killers, don't kill your baby. Don't kill your baby. Don't kill your baby. Look at them murderers trying to stop you. 
You can get help. Don't let him kill your baby. If you're here, <laughs> uh, good job. Listen to them. Need a water too. I'll listen put the to sign them. down a minute. Don't kill the babies. That devil over there, she'll burn in hell. Huh? Unless she repents, she'll burn in hell. Because they like to keep doing what they're doing. What you say? Don't kill your baby! What's this one? Don't kill your baby. Don't kill the baby.
Don't murder your babies! Why don't they do an ultrasound Why they do it so you can watch the baby scream and rip its arms and legs off? Murders. Don't murder your baby. Don't murder your baby. Don't be a killer. Don't kill your baby. Let it live. Don't murder your baby. Don't murder your baby. You had the sex and now you want to cover it. Don't kill the baby. Murderers. You got time to change your mind. Smile, you're on camera. Oh my God, I'm on camera. Is that on camera? One day it won't be so funny. We've seen witches like you before. <laughs> Change it, the witch. Your month's coming up. Get you a broad brim black hat with a point on it. <laughs> An electric vacuum cleaner. Watch you go past the moon. Don't kill your baby. Save the baby. The Bible says God hates hands that shed innocent blood. Those who are standing out here with big, with big signs, with rainbow vests, are accessories to murder. It's like every South Carolina legislature vote to perpetuate mass genocide by abortion. Like every one of the 15 Democrats who voted that way. Y'all would have made Hitler proud. One, one of those 16 is no longer no longer living. You know, the funny thing, Hit, Hitler based his eugenic program off of Margaret Sanger, who founded American Birth Control League. Oh, That's crazy. right. You'd have probably been at Auschwitz. That's the foundation for this. It's the foundation of the weakest on property. He's right. This is built on sand. I pray that every brick and mortar here is crushed and turned into rubble and blown away. Wait, that sounds like a threat. That's a promise. That's a promise. The whole world's going to end up like that. But I pray that specifically for that place right now because that's innocent blood here. Out black genocide. Uh, or, there's no different than you walking somebody 
They never said that at all. You're a liar. Talking about the Lord's judgment. We're talking about the Lord's judgment on this country. Just like he did Sodom and Gomorrah. Did you have an abortion? Did you have an abortion? Is that why you're out here to soothe your conscience? They want to soothe their own conscience by getting other people to do the same thing they did. Amen. Killer. Murderer. Witch. Reagan, that might have hit him. This is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, and that men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Now thank God you were able to see that light right there. And there's you still got the time to see the light of Jesus Christ before it's too late. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. That's why we're here, because we abide in truth. We don't abide in a lie. That's Margaret Singer, eugenics, racism. That's the foundation of this. Look it up. It's not my truth. It is the truth. You don't like that. This place kills black children. We're not. We're out here trying to uh, promote, bring, keep your children out of that. But you're promoting racism, eugenics, Nazism. <coughs> that was the platform. This. Right here, this is the platform. Same thing in 1930s Germany, 1940. It's the same thing, but you're in darkness. You grope around trying to search for it. I was there. I was groping around in darkness looking for the light. But guess what? I supported all this. I didn't care about it. But when you come to the light of Christ, you care about it. You laugh, buddy. You laugh, but judgment is real. You think you're a good person? Well, look at the Ten Commandments. It shows you exactly what's in your heart. It shows you exactly that pride. That blasphemy, that laughing, you think, oh, God's not looking. Oh, you might not even believe in God. I didn't either. I had no love or place for God in my life. It was all about me. But you know what? When God humbled me, when God corrected me, then I saw something totally different. I saw the truth. The truth. You may be laughing now, I mean, it's but not God's going to get the last laugh. It's not a joke. I mean, have you seriously, have you watched children under a DNA or DNC procedure? What when you, when this is put, a limb is pulled apart, their head is, is pulled apart and crushed. What does that look like? Does that look like innocency? Does that look like uh, help for the mother? Does that look like help for anybody? What does that do? What does that do? Is that what you did to your baby? Is that what you did to your baby? Is that what you did to your baby? Is that what you did to yours? Well, I mean, if they don't stand with the truth, then I'm sorry. But the God's Word is pretty clear on what it says. And God's Word, there's more evidence for the history of Jesus Christ and Him on this earth than there is that this promotes health care. There's way more evidence for the Bible than it is that this promotes health care for a woman. That's bull crap. I'm sorry, but that is. That's a lie. It's a fraud. It's all built on fraud and deceit. Again, the Nazis used the Margaret Singer platform to kill and murder people. The fit versus the unfit. Eugenics, Sir Martin, Sir Francis Galton. Sir Francis Galton. That's what it is. That's the truth of this. You don't like it, and I understand that. It hurts. 
it hurts to be a part of a racist, murderous organization just like this. But that's what this is. 80% of the children that are killed are black. Now, I'm sorry, but who, who are we killing out here? Who, who are we leading to their death out here? child, but with you it's the most dangerous.
baby murderer. You wanna you wanna come up there and some yeah. video? Yep. Yep. Alright. He's gonna come in about twenty five after, twenty twenty five after the upper driveway here. There's plenty of free help for those in a crisis pregnancy. You do not have to abort your baby. Turn to Christ, Diane. He is your only hope, just like he is our only hope. But he is our hope. There is salvation through no other one than the Lord Jesus Christ. These cameras are not for legal protection. Good morning. Good morning. Karen, this is uh, Tim. Tim, this is Karen. Nice this to meet you. Tim, this is Tim. This is Tucker Baptist Church. And the uh, pastor, the tall fellow down there, is the pastor of Concord Baptist. All that. Okay. The uh, abortionist drives in Devonshire and he comes down this way. Mm -hmm. So I uh, stand up here and the photograph makes a turn here. All right.
started wearing these suspenders, and I like them for these trousers, but the, uh, you know, the clips don't stay attached. This guy here in the rainbow vest, of course, is a cohort, clinic escort, so-called, death escort. I just said that lady works here. What? <coughs> she said that lady works here in the white car that just pulled in. Um, you said that Maria? Mm -hmm. Karen? Karen. She works, she works, probably works in another business. She doesn't work at Planned Parenthood, does she? No. No. The abortionist comes in his blue Mustang up this street. You can see that comes pretty Ooh. quickly up here and he turns in right here. Oh, what year? Yeah, you, you might know. I don't know. Yeah, the 2022 is probably about 50G or 60, depending. Okay, if you get the upgrade with the V8 plus extra interior leather seats heated. I don't, I don't know about this. Huh? You might, you might recognize him when he comes in. He used to have a red Mercedes, a two-door Mercedes. Oh, those, those vehicles cost a lot of money. Where does he get that money? Killing yeah. innocent children. Yep. I got 12 baby cousins. If their mother would have killed them, I would have been very sad. Mm -hmm. Eight fourteen. So he'll, he'll probably be in about in about ten minutes. They really need a camera down there for legal purposes. Yeah. Because there's thing. Who, who's um? One of these is yours. Are they both yours? This one is. This one's preacher's. Okay. Tell me to take it. I'm just shooting stills. Yeah. I uh. I photograph and I document and then I publicize gotcha. that this killing is still going on. The Senate had three opportunities last year to stop the mass genocide. It wouldn't have been, uh, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been the legislation. It wouldn't have established justice. It would have shut down the mass genocide. Likely at this Planned Parenthood and the one in, in Charleston. But three times last year, in September, October, and November, the Senate did not pass legislation that would have stopped either 97 or 98 percent of the abortions. 16 of those were Democrats, five or six were Republicans, including Katrina Shealy in Lexington County, and Henry Gustafson in Kershaw County. Tom Davis in Buford, Greg Henry in Ori, Luke Rankin in Ori, who in some cases didn't vote, in other cases did vote the wrong way. In some cases he just didn't vote when uh, his vote would have been helpful. Here's the other one. Um, oh, Sandy Sand in Charleston. Six so-called Republicans, rhinos. building here? How many businesses? Mm -hmm. um, but there's not just the abortion clinic. Oh, there's multiple. Did you yeah. see the directory out front by the driveway? Mm -hmm. yeah, there's a directory that lists how accurate it is. I don't know, but there's several. We got this law firm, Scott and Corley. There's some kind of nurses training going on inside here. Um, are they all related to abortion or are they different? No, they're just independent businesses. Is a security business. If you look in the parking lot near the main, the main entrance to Planned Parenthood, uh, this morning there were several white vehicles that were security vehicles. So there's a uh, security.
cherry business in this building also. You notice on that sign, uh, it says uh, Suite 103, if you can see it, second line down. That's not the abortion center. The abortion center is 107 at the end of the building. 103 is a business office. So Planned Parenthood has two offices in this building. This has darkened windows on the side, so the clearest shot to photograph him is through the front. He's 78 years old, he wears his mask when he comes in. He comes in from Florence, his name is Harvey Brown. Harvey Brown. Harvey Brown. You can go, you can go back and see records where um, I don't know if he's, if he's killed continuously over the last 35 years, but he was killing in Darlington in 88 and 89. There was another abortionist that killed at uh, Planned Parenthood here before Harvey Brown. Uh, one was named um, Jack Valpy. Probably about five minutes or so. I pray he doesn't come in. One day, the Lord's going to stop him from coming in. One day he will arrive here for his last time, one way or another. Yep. Yeah, because that man's probably already turned to a reprobate man. Pray the Lord will save him and remove him from killing children. We will remove him, however it may please God to do so. Mm -hmm. You remember the name Jesse Floyd? I think he used to kill on Barnwell Street. And he had abortion mills in uh, North Charleston and uh, Greenville also, and. Uh, in the 90s, I think somewhere around 95, he was killed in a car accident. And eventually, we tried to keep the one open, the abortion mill on Marmel Street, they tried to keep it open for about a year, but eventually all three mills shut down. I don't think they, after he was killed, I don't think they were still doing abortion. In fact, I know they weren't still doing abortion because they didn't report it to uh, the DHEC. So the abortion stopped when, when he was killed in a car accident in the low country. The engine is audible from a distance. Ooh, nice machine. Nice $50,000 car. 
Really? Wow. BMW. Exactly. You refer to them as death sports. Yep. That yep. makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> in place of this woman up here in the fence, Diane, she's probably in her 60s, and, and she has mentioned that she's had an abortion in the past. I think it was you know, something on the order of 40 years ago. We pray that she, the Lord saves her and she repents and and is, receives his healing. There's two or three women that come out here on the pro-life side. They're, they're post-abortion. You know, God saved them. And God can, God is able to forgive that sin of abortion. Just like any, just like he's forgiven us of our sins. For those in a crisis pregnancy, Alabama license plate. Yeah, we're still in this general direction. The only time now. It's hard to hear that blow again. Comes in pretty quick. Oh yeah. She was right over here. Hmm. Are these windows tinted? Yeah, side windows. Yeah. yeah. I think the front window is best. The best one to shoot for. That's why I try to get him. There and it, it turns in. We had the red Mercedes. I could crouch down in that corner and get a direct um, side shot. I did get get a, a, at least one, if not more, a couple of those good shots that way. about an hour. I think it's about an hour. Florence. To Florence? I think so. On I-20? It, uh, it could be wrong. Because we're usually where we're coming from is that you basically go back towards Irma you can hit on the Florence exit. That's like 70 or something. Mm. I've been to uh, his neighborhood. I drove, you know, drove around the neighborhood. Not too far off I-20. It's just over the Darlington Florence County line. Ah, Darlington. That makes it longer. Yeah. 
where that low is moved away. Mm -hmm. Well, see who comes in the next few minutes. He doesn't try and move it. No, he just needs to go to the little stop him. You know, uh, Planned Parenthood has closed on Wednesday this week. You know, um, they, they work on Wednesday. Do you know if they, if they work on Thursday? Yeah, they work, they're, I think they're open on Monday, Monday, Thursday for health care day, not for abortion. Well, they were doing abortions on Wednesday for yeah. a while, for about yeah. at least three Wednesdays in a row. Yeah, they, they, they did not do them this, this is on Wednesday this week. Do you know if they did them on Thursday this week? The Lord will save him or stop him however and, and stop him that way or stop him however God chooses to stop him. Mm. Yeah. Well, I know at that age he's pretty set in his ways. such a surprise when, when Jesse Floyd was killed. I mean, it was just so sudden. Mm -hmm. we've, we've been out there for several years out in front of this mill. He had a, uh, a boy with him, eight, eight, about eight years old, he was with him. He was driving his Porsche. And Floyd pulled out in front of traffic and got hit by a car. And the boy wasn't seriously hurt. Floyd was killed. His judgment. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what it looks like. Oh, Lord, why did it happen? Mm -hmm. I don't hear him. Mustangs always have a certain sound. Yeah, you can hear it. You can, you can hear him when he comes in. won't come in today. Well, he doesn't come in today or ever again.
You haven't heard anything about him coming in, the, the abortionist coming in the lower driveway, have you? No, um, he might be going on. The same abortionist? Is that the... Yeah. He used to, that's our... I think it was the, the white Mercedes station wagon. I haven't seen him in a long time. Oh, okay. They still got to either come in here or there, yeah. right? They, they used to drive through the parking lot until they put those planters in the way. <laughs> kind of funny. There's a number of clients here, so it looks like it's an abortion day. You know? Escorts are here. The escorts are here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he's here. This guy here. I got a few turns with him, but yeah, not very nice. shows you at the root of all this, it's anti-God, anti-Christ, anti-Bible. Yep, but love money. That's after 8.30. He's not here. Did you see the day the Lord answers our prayer? 
These dumb dumbs. If, they, if their parents believed in abortion, they wouldn't be here. <laughs> they went <laughs> six foot under and some beauty product. Doesn't make much sense except, except for the fact of sin. Mm -hmm. The reality of sin. Yep. Because there's that's actually uh, true that they use the baby parts for beauty products. Mm -hmm. This lady went on a Steve Harvey show. She put this uh, red drop on his hand, and when he rubbed around, it took all the wrinkles out, and made his skin younger. But where it was made of would actually have a baby foreskin after they cut him up. Ah, the truck. How's the truck? How's the truck going? Okay. the way God wants it. He's given us. Oh, there we go.
back down. Now the road. So that was a long bridge. What? Oh my god, I was like, get off the road. Healing in Jesus Christ I am. Oh. There's no full and real healing through any other. She just said bad word. <laughs> she gave you the number one word. What the fuck? I did. And that's for anybody. That's available to all. Okay, man. Hmm? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he's, you know, I told him, I said, you're probably right. I said, I agree with you. I said, there's justifiable criticism. Mm -hmm. and justified. And I said, right. I'll take what you said and I'll take it into consideration. But I said, I can have a moment to where I'm used to being talking to the girls and talking to And, you know, over the Don't years, do it, I miss! Said, Shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Right. You, you're telling the truth, and it's called tough love. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Then, then you got these folks mm -hmm. that are doing it in a more tender way. Did you say anything? No. Yeah. 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 Uh, but anyway, oh, Megan, go get that sign, please. Here, I'll get it. I just picked that up. And we just found a little nine Mustang, so I cost him 60000 Let's go up here and get, grab these signs. No, no. I'll just leave them there. Make sure you pick up our trash. Mm. I like that water bottle. I see you got a steak in there. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's go up here and pray with Steve. All right. <laughs> Hey Steve, I go ahead let's and have show a word of prayer. Okay. Let's cut this off. Okay. What do you mean? Lord, we praise you, we bless you, we worship you. You know, Lord, that you are sovereign, that you are King of kings and Lord of lords. We thank you, Lord, for your word in Matthew 16 and 18, Jesus, where you said you would build your church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. God, I pray that in Jesus' name, that this gate of hell, so-called planned, par planned Parenthood, this child murder center, this altar of child sacrifice, would be brought down in, in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, there's a witness of your people here today, Lord, a witness of your church. I pray, Lord, we would rightly represent you. I pray, God, that you might be pleased to save, save souls and save lives bring this Holocaust to an end. Not only here in Colombia, 
in South Carolina and America and around and really around the world, Lord, please stop this horrific, abominable sin and crime and child sacrifice. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pray the Lord saves these other workers to him. Yes, Lord. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Uh, you need help getting this in? I think Robert and Mark are going to help me. Um, uh, I got to go back and put him to work. Someone needs to grab those sticks. Now. I got it.